Welcome folks to another Unreal tutorial. Uh, it's going to be a short tutorial today, just looking at how to create God Rays in Unreal. So as you can see here, I've got uh, the character in the environment and I've got the sun shining through and I've got these like very beautiful rays of light uh, shining through these trees here. Let's go through to the other side as well. So you can see there's like wonderful array of just different beams. So I'm going to show you how we did this. Okay, so first of all, uh, if you want to change the color of your sky, you're going to need to click on the sky itself. And you'll see here on the right hand side, you can go through. Um, in order to kind of make the changes, you need to uh, go to where it says colors determined by sun position. So you need to uncheck that. And then you can basically play around with some of these settings here, like sun brightness. Well, not so much sun brightness, but uh, cloud speed, uh, cloud opacity as well. So if you can see here, you just sort of take that down. So you can see it kind of takes it down, takes it up. But you can see there it actually does affect the, the god rays, as it were. So you just need to bear that in mind in terms of cloud opacity. So it needs the clouds uh, to do that. And we've got uh, the zenith color, horizon color, cloud color, and overall color. So again, you can choose this to whatever you want. Uh, I've gone for a sort of fairly naturalistic uh, sort of look. You can change it to whatever color you want. So I'm going to click back on the sky there. So if you want to uh, change some of this round, maybe make uh, you know the uh, the overall color say pink. You could do that. You just have to kind of change it all in kind. So you can see that it's already changing. So it's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do it, green, blue, pink, orange, whatever you desire, you can do that. Uh, but it just so happened I, I sort of chose uh, that color. You can also uh, play around with the darkness as well. That's another thing, but it will obviously affect uh, the, um, the rays as it were. So it's just something to bear in mind. Now I'm just gonna change this back to uh, the original colors that I had or something near, near on. Uh, so that's something like that. Then let's just change this back to something like I originally had. Something like that. Okay, so um, that's pretty much the sky. Don't worry about all the rest of it. Now the bit that determines the rays uh, is contained within the light. Now you can see here in the world outliner, we need to go and find our light our light source to be precise so we've got that here and then after you've selected it if you go down to details you'll be able to kind of play around with some of the things here so obviously things like if I just zoom out a little bit here obviously a big factor in this is you want to have um, a sort of um, if I just press F you want to have a good angle. Now at the moment, um, I've got this set up. It's almost like, you know, late afternoon. Uh, so you want to be able to play around with that by, if I just, with that selected, I'm gonna hit the uh, E key. And you can see here, you can kind of play around with the shadows. Now, obviously you don't want it really like overhead per se. I'm just kind of play around with that and do that. So you don't want it like overhead could it sort of spoil the effect so you want something like you know long shadows uh, late afternoon uh, that kind of vibe uh, so that you'll find that in when you select the uh, the light source which is there now you can play around with the color but I'd leave that as is if it's coming from the Sun and you can see here I've got the settings there so I've got the source angle source soft angle a lot of this you can just sort of um, you can leave same thing with the rendering, light mass. And then we come to the light shafts. Okay. So you can see there, at the moment they're turned, uh, they're turned on. If I turn them off and turn off the light shaft blue, you can see there uh, it gets rid of the whole, uh, the whole effect. Yeah. So we're going to turn these back on. And this is where you can sort of play around with things like, for example, the bloom scale. So let's see if we can get like a good, if 
if I can just maybe zoom in there, just so we can kind of get a, um, get a view of the light as it's kind of coming through the uh, through the trees. And I'll go back to the world outliner, and I'll just go and select the light source, which is there. And this is where you can kind of play around with things like bloom. So you can see there it, it begins to really extend. So just take it back. The best thing to do is just have a play. Yeah, uh, you'll find a lot out with the programs like this, but just by messing around. So I'm just taking this back and forth and clicking and holding with the left button mouse. I'm just clicking and holding, going back and forth. And you choose what works best for you. So I mean, you know, it wants to be sort of fairly dramatic. You can be subtle with it, but you can see there because I've got the clouds moving quite, quite quickly. It's creating this quite dramatic effect where you kind of get in these, uh, these um, rays of light there. So you've got that with the bloom scale, and then you've got things like the threshold as well. So if you play around with that, I mean, you don't want it too much because that's just going to blast everything out. So you know, just something like that, like so. I mean, that's quite nice as well. And then you've got brightness as well that you can play around with. So to take that down completely or back up again. So again, your choice, yeah. Whatever you want to do. And then um, you can play around with the bloom tint as well. And again, I mean, this is probably, you've got the desired effect there, but you can sort of certainly, you know, click on that. If you want to, you can kind of do all this kind of stuff. You can see that, move that move over to the one side. So perhaps you want to have a kind of like a, some kind of mystical light kind of coming out. It's sort of quite unusual, or like red or blue or purple. You know, it all looks pretty good. Uh, or you could just go with something a little bit more conservative, like like, like click OK. And that's uh, and that's pretty much it, really. I'm just going to hit play and we'll just go back to um, go back to our scene now. Hit F11. Go through see the, the lights kind of already kind of spilling through so there we go so that is quite strong but there it is but it gets the desired effect right so you can see there that is very very strong but it's just to kind of show to you really you know what uh, what you can achieve um, with this it's quite a neat tool I know uh, I can see lots of you youtubers do um, do tutorials like this where they kind of play around with it want to the things but um but yeah but that's pretty much it really so short video today now you know how to create god rays or light rays and um and that's it really so um yeah so if you're watching on youtube by the way and you like uh, the content please um hit the like button and uh, subscribe of course um i'm doing a, a sort of series at the moment of, of unreal but i will also be dipping back into playing around with uh, some uh, more concept art and also looking at sort of painting assets and things like that uh, using Maya and uh, 3D code. But that's it. Uh, thanks for watching folks and uh, I'll see you in the next uh, video. Okay, bye for now.